In the previous chapter, we discovered the golden segment, whose parts follow the golden proportion phi. With the parts of this segment, we can build the golden triangle. We can also build the golden number. Therefore, with the parts of the golden segment, we can build all the figures that we have seen in previous chapters. because all of them have been built with the golden triangle and the golden nomen. But why do we call this triangle nomen? Hero of Alexandria defined the nomen as any figure that, added to another, results in another figure that is similar to the original one. If we have a golden triangle and we have a golden nomen, we always get another golden triangle. That's why it's called golden nomen. Back to the golden segment, its golden proportion can be transferred to golden arcs. And also to the golden circumference. In that way, its 360 degrees are split in 222.5 and 137.5 degrees. If we turn a clock hand following golden arc steps, it never repeats its position and it never goes back to the starting point. This way we can put many elements around an axis without having one cover another. Plants use this method to ensure that higher leaves don't take away the light from the lower leaves. The science that studies plants' parts is position is called Philotaxis. Number 5 is very important in Philotaxis and in nature. 